Aha, there we go. Now, if that happens again, please do not worry. I will always come back to you or do my very, very level best to come back to you. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Now, uh, you should be actually coming back. There's Ian Walker. Welcome, Ian. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us, of course. Very, very important. So it looks like this week's show is going to be in two parts. Last week's show, guys, was in three parts. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, the old gremlins, a little bit unreliable at times, but nevertheless, we will press on with it because it's still excellent. It still is global. It still is live. And we should be doing very, very well. Woohoo, Lord, says Robert. Hello, says Ben Lucas. Kieran Fox, Dinky Doo, Andrew Mackay, hello. Vera O'Hara is watching. Shout out for Beast McDowell, says Jamie Bald. Yusuf Yusufi, Yusuf Yusufi is watching. Sorry, Yusuf. Chris Marlowe is watching. Fantastic. Ben Lucas, it is fun. Ian Swanston, hi from Ian at Radio Telstar. Radio Telstar International, a very fine station. And of course, Scotty McClue was interviewed by the wonderful Shelley McRobbie. So there you are. You can pick that up on Facebook and on YouTube. Good evening, Scotty, says Lee Fan. Murray McLean, hurrah! Hi! Uh, is Catalonia going to affect Brexit, says Robert Devlin. I don't think so, Robert. It's very, very interesting to see what is around, what's going on around the world. But um, I'm very interested in these governments trying to hang on to it. Uh, the tie's a bit crooked, Scotty. Well, no wonder, for goodness sake. I mean, I've just had to busy myself reprogramming the video. Women should drive pink electric cars, says Kieran Fox. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn, says Alfred James Wright. A big shout out to all the SNP and freedom fighters for Scotland, says Robert Riley Dowd, senior two. Yes, there you are. Uh, Scotty FM, that says Yusef Yusfi. Uh, it's nine, not ten, says Peter Ewing. I know, Peter. Are you not up to date? We have changed the time from nine until ten. So there you are. Rod Hardesty, greetings from the greatest part of the UK, England. Well, greater certainly in um, direct area and population size. Well, no, I don't know. Is Scotland not actually got greater area? So I think Scotland would be the greater part of the UK, Rod. But you might have more populous. So there you are. I think you've got uh, 60 million and we've got 6 million. I see women are taking over TV and radio nowadays, Scotty, says Roy Brownlow. Well, yes, but there's always going to be room for a great, talented, contented show. And, uh, you know, the Scotty McClue phone end has now been going for 25 years in some shape or form in some guys and uh, it's going to get a lot bigger i can tell you because we're talking to very very senior people who are very keen to take it but they have to uh, express any difficulties or objections or whatever they're up to uh, there shouldn't be any at all Thirty-six thousand hours of live unscripted broadcasting hi scotty from tommy in middlesbrough down in middlesbrough dinky do me old tfm stumping ground um, no women need real cars, not toys. Lindsay Scott's watching. Dinky do, Lindsay. A very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. We are, of course, live with show 54. We had a little break there in the middle. So, of course, the transmission will be in two parts. This is now part two. Love it, Scott, says Peter Ewing. Yes, we wanted to get everybody off to their bed a bit sharper, Peter, because it's Monday uh, tomorrow morning. Scotland's the best wee country in the world, says Robert Riley Dowd Senior 2. Kerry Duncan, the electric bray, Jerry. Ah, the electric bray. Who knows where the electric bray is? Oh, Scotty, can you phone my wife and tell her I'll be back on Tuesday? Because if I do it, she'll leather me, says Rab. So there you go, Rab Hill. Uh, if Mrs. Hill is watching, Rab will be back on Tuesday and you have to treat him with the greatest of courtesy and respect. If you could pick any subject to talk about past or present, what would it be? Says Robert Devlin. Robert, there's so many interesting subjects to talk. I mean, one would be um, who was right or wrong in 1940 at the start of the Second World War. Was Chamberlain right or was Churchill right? So there you are. 
Here's a major topic for you. Magic, Scotty, keep it up, says Richie McCusker. Richie, dinky-doo, we always come back to you. We have the freezing. I can't do anything about it. I do apologise. Circumstances beyond my control. But nevertheless, we will come back to you. And that's what we've done. Uh, so that's what I think we'll be looking at. Nice Halloween mask, Scotty, says Roy Brownlow. Roy, as you know, Halloween is the one night of the year that the missus and I don't have to dress up. Fantastic. All halos in before All Saints Day. Uh, Scotty, did you know that uh, the public school boys in the Great War were given £5,000 for uniforms and had their own beds and Batman and were made officers in charge of ordinary men? I know all of this, Ian, and a lot more. Of course they had Batman because they were used to having fags at school when they shouted, Fag! And somebody would come running and uh, deliver a letter for them and things like that. So there you are. That was the British public school system at that time. Uh, are you married, Scotty, says Kerry Duncan. Oh, Kerry, that would be giving a lot away, wouldn't it? So there we go. Um, now, do Scottish folk have a drinking problem, says uh, Jerry Scholar. I don't think so any more than anywhere else, Jerry, to be absolutely honest with you. In fact... I would say that the Scottish drinking problem has much lessened in uh, recent times. And, of course, the drink drive limit is down to zero. Uh, what do you think about um, the Queen's Airport USB security leak? Says Roy Brownlow. Well, yes, you do get a security leak from time to time. Uh, yes, Jerry, says Kerry. Uh, cheers, says Kerry. Cheers to you, Kerry. Two kisses to you. Shout like that again and you'll get an asbo, says Rab Hill. What did we shout? Oh, yes. Fag! Right. Uh, Scotty, let your care on inches at the door, says Ian Walker. Ah, ha, ha. That's so funny, Ian. I love the idea that you are um, practising comedy. So there you are. I gave up being a comedian, of course, because people were just laughing at me all the time. Uh, so there you are. Why do you wear a whippet hat, says Jerry? I have worn that for 40 years, Jerry. That's why I wear it. Scotty, do you think Mary Black? Um, so there we are. Something about, I can't remember, Tommy. I don't think we'll have that sort of comment, Tommy. I don't think that's a rather appropriate comment. So there we are. Uh, Michael McGuigan's watching. Dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us, Mike. And uh, Sid Devine is watching. Lovely, lovely, lovely. When are we getting a wee song, Scotty? I love your singing voice, says Robert Devlin. So they were funny enough, Robert, I was just warming up at the start of the show and I was going, God rest you, merry gentlemen, like nothing you dismay. There we are, wee, wee touch of that. Um, now, you rock. Your look, Scotty, says Kerry Duncan. Did you do, Kerry? Thank you very much indeed. And uh, very kind of you to ask. And uh, there we are. She thinks Scotty rocks. I rock, I can dab for you all, you see. So there we are, Stephen Stewart's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Stephen. Excellent stuff. And you are, of course, watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every nation globally across the world. Uh, Scotty, the JFK files were released. Well, not all of them. Lol. Trump's a chump, says Ian Walker. Well, maybe he got pressure put on him by the security services saying, please, 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 Mr. President, don't release these. And he gave in to them. So, you know, uh, I heard a preview on Spike Nesmith's show. Good work, sir. Said that in the last part of the show, but not sure if you saw it. Murray McLean. Excellent. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. This is a broadcast that's going to be released very soon, sooner than the rest of the JFK files. How does the dog cope with fireworks and should they be banned? Fireworks, not the dog, says Angie Thompson. Now, my present little dog, who's a real little working Labrador, um, he's absolutely fine with anything. So he's, he's not getting any sort of gun shyness, although a very, very loud one went off near him in the park. And he just sort of said, come on, let's go. And he just about pulled me um, as fast as he could. But the other thing I'm saying about that that's rather interesting is my old Labrador, old Lord, um, he uh, used to just about knock every occasional table over on firework night. So it was not 
good for him at all. And at that time we lived in uh, Salford, uh, just outside Manchester. And uh, it was it was like being in a in a war zone uh, in Salford at that time where Firework Night was on. A very, very built up place. And uh, as you know, I quite often live in the country, but this was a very, very built up place in Salford. And it was like being in a war zone for about a week during Firework Night. I don't really have much time for it. Sorry to sound like a bit of a, uh, an, uh, um, what should we say, um, a Jonah. There we are. There's one for you. Uh, Steve Clark's Blue and White Army. This is Dylan Graham. Scotty, why did the US Secret Service withhold certain things for another six months or so? Says Kerry. Well, no, it might be stuff that would, um, you know, be very embarrassing. Nothing to do with the actual murder or the shooting or anything like that but just embarrassing in the way that the secret service operate or something or they might not want people to know their modus operandi which would be perfectly fair the cover-up that the fbi and cia are concerned about uh, read the jfk docs is their own incompetence that's already common knowledge but they don't want the negative publicity in this political climate says Murray McLean. Well, very, very interesting. But the thing is, uh, have they solved the murder of JFK in actual fact? So in other words, are there no real uh, values in any of the conspiracy theories? In other words, was Lee Harvey Oswald operating alone? And uh, he was just uh, some sort of nutcase that decided to take a chance and take out the president. So there you are. End of story. Solved. Sorted. On the Scotty McClue Show. Uh, Scotty, the North Koreans hacked into the NHS according to the BBC. And I have to ask myself, why? So there we are. And are the BBC at it again? Well, at what are you saying, Ian? What finger are you wagging at uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation when you say at it again? Scotty, I'm fed up. The 31st of October is the only night I get on my own. This year my wife's broomstick is in for an MOT, says Alfred James Wright. <laughs> Scotty, will Sunderland never win another game of football? Or are they a lost cause? Never a lost cause. Here we go. One, two, Sunderland! Sunderland! Right, uh, Scotty, have you seen the Snowden film on Netflix? Very good. I would imagine it is, Kerry. Yes, excellent stuff. Netflix, a first-class channel. So there we are. Very interesting. Uh, Rab Hill says, Sheena Easton as well. Yes, at college with me, Scotty McClue. That was why I posted that, because um, Great Yorkshire Radio, one of the country's finest radio stations, Great Yorkshire Radio. Get it on the internet. It's on digital in Yorkshire. And uh, a wonderful station, radio just as it should be. And they were playing Sheena Easton. And I said, Sheena Easton was uh, at college with me. So there you are. She was a student with me. Good evening, Scotty. I hope you're well, my old muckle, says Carl Morris. Hey, hey, Scotty, says Gary Donald. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster just for you, saying Dinky Do live on Facebook Live. The world's top broadcast platform. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Kerry says, what's your views on 9-11? So there you are. Um, and, uh, well, lots of views on 9-11. Uh, I drink out of a pint glass, Jerry, and then I have to only pay for one shot of lime, <coughs> says Pepsi Cowan. Nearly advertising there, but there's an E on the end of it. Sip of tea for McClure. Mmm. Susan Forrest says, evening, evening, dinky-doo to you, my dear. Scott's best people in the world, says Robert Riley, now seeing you too. I think so, yes, but I think the whole world, you see, people are just people. What frightens the life out of governments and politicians is that if everybody realised we were all just the same. So there you are. So people that shout out, I'm from England, I'm from Scotland, I'm from Ireland, I'm from Wales. I am French, I am Italian, I am German, I am American, I am Canadian, I am Chinese, Russian. We all originated in the African Rift Valley, so we are all Africans from Africa. So there you are. Scots are all doing the nut now. Uh, the programme with you and her 
Uh, Nicky Clark, yes, indeed. Evening, says Susan. Uh, milk and two Scotty next time you're making tea. Absolutely. The files got mixed up and um, it was somebody else. Abraham Lincoln shot John Lennon. Oh, what a lot of rubbish, Ian. You don't have... Ian, change your medication, la. Uh, Murray McLean says, I'm from Earth. Absolutely. And um, sorry, Nikki Campbell, I do apologise. Yes, absolutely. The show with Nikki Campbell, tremendous. Barbara Dixon, Daniel O'Donnell. Um, so there you are. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And um, Rona Cameron, the comedian. Excellent. Hi, Scotty. A bit late to the show. Yes, you are indeed, Ruai Nynaeve. Ruai Nynaeve, you're very late to the show. You need to be on time. Nine o'clock sharp. We start from now on. Spread the word. It's been well enough advertised around Facebook today. And it's very strange that people on Facebook go, Oh, don't tell me you're going to be having this all day. And then people come on and say, Oh, well, well, I didn't realise it was nine o'clock. Oh, oh. Um, oh, my ancestors are Irish. No, Robert Riley Down Senior 2, your ancestors are Africans from the African Rift Valley. And then a lot of them went via Ireland. Very, very interesting. So there you are. And that's when you got your Picts and your Scots. And then Germany had your Vandals. All that lot. So there we are. Uh, so, Robert, there's a bit of news for you. You are an African. Excellent stuff. And as somebody said, all these people that go on about nationalism, if they were to put a little bit of um, um, saliva into a cup and have it examined at the lab, they'd be shocked at their DNA. Philip Fives watching. Welcome, Philip. Uh, Scotty, my friend, what's your favourite breed of dog? It has to be the Labrador. I used to have terriers, West Highland white terriers, but it has to be the Labrador. Although I must show you uh, one of my, I think I might actually, I just found a picture the other night. I might be able to get it for you. Stick with me, guys. Now, don't go away now. I mean it, okay? Just stick with me for a second. So I'll see what we've got here. Um, because I'm sure I found a picture the other night of one of the, oh, dear, oh, dear. Sat down a bit heavy there. Um, and um, sorry about the lady downstairs. Sorry about that, hen. Uh, so there we are. I don't know if you can see that, um, but that's the little West Highland. I'll put them up and see if you can see them. Can you see them there? So there you are. That's him there, and he was a great wee chap. So there we go. Marvellous stuff. So that's that. Uh, welcome back, Scotty of the Clan McClure's has beat. Yes, Scotty re national origins. Well put, sir. Absolutely, Murray. It's very important. People have to realise. And remember... There is only one race, so you can never, ever, ever, ever have racism. Because there's only one race, the human race, and we are all members. And then there's all God's creatures, great and small as well. Fantastic, wonderful, wonderful. We need to uh, love each other and love our animals. Uh, I'm up early in the morning. Please may I leave a bit early tonight, Rod Hardesty. What on earth are you doing getting up early in the morning? I have to say that photograph that you put on the net last week of the sunrise over Amble in the northeast of England was stunning. People would like that in calendars and stuff, Rod. So it was a beautiful picture with the three wild geese flying across the sky in the middle. Uh, so we can, can we call ourselves African Global, uh, says Rui Nynaeve. Yes, Rui Nynaeve, you can indeed. My cousin had a chocolate Labrador. Uh, he was a lovely dog, even though I was allergic to him. I didn't mind um, leaving her house looking like Mike Tyson's <laughs> fool of... Oh, it's not. Oh, my goodness me. So there we are. Absolutely. As if Mike Tyson had had a fight in the house. I'm with you. Can we have a tour around McClure Tower, Scotty? Says Dino the Doug. Yes, it wouldn't be very much because the, the lady downstairs has got the bulk of it, I say. Uh, Scotty, um, where are the Jacob rees Moggs of the world getting airtime in the media all the time? So there we are. Uh, touted for the top job. Yes, absolutely. I saw that uh, Jacob rees Mogg had a show on LBC last week, just standing in for the presenter, or sitting in for the presenter, I should say. 
Uh, so there you go. I don't mind um, celebrities on the radio, uh, you know, parliamentarians on the radio, television celebs on the radio. But I also think that radio people should be given a crack at the whip as well. So there you are. Thank you for that, Sir Rod Hardesty. Not at all. Off you go to your bobos. Um, should England vote to remove Scotland from the UK? Only fear as Scotland has to go. Yes, Jerry, I think that would be a wonderful, wonderful idea. I think England should have Scotland uh, forcibly removed from the UK. So there we are. That would be a very good idea. So get a petition up. I know there was one up and they were just about to get the signatures and they realised that most of the Scots were signing as well. Uh, can we upload a photo to the chat, Scotty, uh, says uh, Kerry. Of course you can. Um, I hope uh, Mr. Farage is not still an LBC, says Murray McLean. Well, he was on uh, the last time I heard. In fact, um, I'm pretty sure he was on this morning, was he? Yes, I think so. I'll check that out for you. Uh, so there we are. And uh, night night, says Rod Hardesty. Yes, absolutely, Rod. Rod was one of my wizards of the big switchboard. Wonderful man, superb production values man. So there you are, excellent stuff. Can we build a wall then, says Jerry Scholar. Yes, I'll tell you where I would build the wall though, Jerry. I would build it um, probably around Watford. Yes, I would build the wall between Scotland and England around the Watford Gap. And um, then uh, I think the rest of the country would want to be Scottish. That makes sense. Uh, so there we are. And remember, folks, all this idea about Scottish nationalism, don't, don't swallow a lot of the rubbish you hear in what's so-called mainstream media, right? The actual truth is Scotland's only interested in self-determination. The administration of everything comes from Scotland and money that's made in Scotland stays in Scotland. Okay, that's all they're interested in. They're not interested in anything else, hating this or hating that. Wonderful sense of values, great social values, uh, the Scottish National Party, but it's the antithesis of the British National Party. The absolute opposite, very caring, uh, slightly left of centre, very thoughtful, looking after people from the cradle to the grave. So there we are. Uh, you'll never beat the wonderful lass of Rab Hill, the lovable lassie of the big switchboard. Fantastic, yes, absolutely fantastic. But Rod was the original wizard of the big switchboard. Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. Thank you to all my wizards and to all my lovable lassies of the big switchboard. In fact, when the smacking ban was um, brought in last week, or the talk of it last week, I thought, would this cover the phone in? Because we used to have a feature called Whip the Wizard. Now, no wizards were actually harmed, but if the wizard made a mistake, then we decided that the caller to the program could whip the wizard. And um, we had to decide if it was a pants up or pants down thrashing for the wizard. So there you are. And we did say it would hurt us more than it would hurt the wizard. And we always shook hands at the end of it. So there you are. So <laughs> there, a wonderful event. Ah! Whip the wizard. Uh, people forget the Lake District was once in Caledonia. Yes, it's time it was back there, I think. Nine is fine, says Eddie Doby Sr. Bill Hill's watching. Excellent stuff. Lol from Watford. Uh, Scotty, other than the Proclaimers, has anyone ever been as famous as you from Scotland? Um, probably not, Jerry. Although James Watt was pretty good. And um, I don't know uh, about uh, Andrew Carnegie. Um, I, what about, uh, who else have we got famous from Scotland? I love the guy that did the docks and the British, Thomas Telford. He was wonderful. Dunlop, the pneumatic tire, McAdam, the roads man. Uh, you know, so you had all these wonderful people. Any chance I could whip you, says Rab? No. No presenters were harmed in the making of this show, Rab. The Bay City Rollers, Jerry. Yes, Bay City Rollers were quite big, but they said that the main... Uh, brands in Scotland are, uh, and I shall tell you, wait till I see, uh, Bars Iron Brew, Tannox Caramel Wafers, Scotty McClure, and Radio Clyde. And that is absolutely genuine. That's Scotland's biggest brands. Uh, so there you are. Uh, how do they move all the lakes without spilling the waters? Says Gordon Riley. Who is James Watt? Says Jerry Scholar. James Watt 
was the man responsible for the industrial revolution uh, he invented the steam engine uh, Connolly, Billy Connolly, says Murray McLean. Yes, Billy Connolly, very, very big, as well as Scotty McClure. Bring back the birch, Scotty. Lulu, says Lee Fan. Absolutely, Lulu. So there we are. Uh, Marie, Marie McLaughlin, uh, fantastic. Lulu. Uh, and uh, who else have we got, Michael McGoon? Miss Whippy. Mr. Whippy. Do you remember Mr. Whippy, the ice creams? Uh, I worked in Dunnocks and I ate my wheat and wafers every day, says Andrew. <laughs> Fantastic, wonderful, wonderful company actually. Uh, so there we go. And uh, Mr. Mr. Bartlett says Rab Hill. Don't know who you're talking about there, Rab. To be quite honest with you, Sir Alexander Fleming. Um, Sir Alexander Fleming, the penicillin. But as I say, I've always wondered if Sir Alexander had come back his holidays and the cleaner at the laboratory had said, "Oh, Mr. Fleming, there's a wee bit of muck in a wee dish there, so I just give it a good." Wash it. Uh, that sort of thing. Bars aren't very made in Scotland from girdles, says Karen. James Watt, also a proud Grenokian, says Pete Gallagher. He was indeed Pete, yes. Fantastic man. And uh, you'll see the James Watt College and the original James Watt College, it seems to have just been all redone up um, down at uh, Dalrymple Street there at the Town Hall uh, and a statue of James Watt in the corner. And James Watt, of course, was one of the Lunar Men. So there you are. Does anybody know anything about the Lunar Men? Uh, potato, says Gordon Riley. Why is whiskey known as whiskey with an E-Y? What's the difference? Cuddly toy if you get it right. Clock is ticking. Tick-tock. One's Irish and the other's Scottish. All right, so one would be known as Irish whiskey and the other would be known as Scotch whiskey. Uh, does the tatties. Were we all talking about our first concert we went to, our dinner on the building site? They all went quiet when I said mine's was the Wombles. So they were our first concert, the Wombles. Scotty, have you seen uh, Danny McCaskill, world famous trials bike rider? Uh, look him up on YouTube, says Kenny. Yes, I will do that. How fantastic stuff. Knowledge is power, remember. Now, how are we doing? Oh my goodness me. We've missed three share points. The time is flying in. Can you share, 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 share? This is show number 54. It's in two parts. Spend the week randomly sharing it on your Facebook to all your groups and all your friends and fans. Moonshine was illegal whiskey when Irish and Scots made bootleg alcohol for America. Uh, it's not man got you, said Jerry. Well, come on, man. Get us again and give us the answer. Sean Connery, Scotty. What a shout for sure eyes. Says Alfred James Wright. Yes, and of course, Jackie Stewart, the racing driver as well. Wonderful. Uh, share, 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 share. Tony Mike, John Logie Baird for inventing the television and Alexander Graham Bell for inventing the telephone. They are great Scots. Alexander Graham Bell was from Paisley. He taught at my old school. So there you are, so I could have seen him. And the telephone, of course, was actually an invention. I think it was his daughter that was deaf, and the telephone was to assist in her hearing. Scotty, you're missing the potato, Mr. Albert Bartley. Uh, do you have any preference or opinion on who's going to the top job in the branch office of British Labour in Scotland? So there you are, says Ben Fisagli. I'm not really interested in Labour in Scotland because I suspect they will just remain in the political wilderness for the rest of their puff. They made the biggest mistake in the whole history of the Labour movement. They didn't back Scottish independence. And they sent that former Prime Minister up to make a speech frightening pensioners about their pensions and all sorts of things so there you are all that was going on at the time uh, i see the wombles at the weekend and um, so there we are i think they're calling it ibrooks now says rab hill don't think that'll go down too well with the range of supporters rab but anyway that's there um so we'll see what will happen so that's my answer um you know i mean they've had as many leaders and as many months and all the rest of it and i can't see them coming out of the political wilderness so there we go and i found that uh, with some scottish farmers decided not to vote snp and uh, that lost a few seats 
and I found out that uh, Westminster were hanging on to monies due for Scottish farmers. Very strange. Several, several, several million pounds. Scotty, do you think Theresa May will go before her term? It's a possibility, but then I'm not sure anybody wants the job at the moment because it's a bit of a hot tatty. What I would like to say to Theresa May is, listen, if you go in and cancel Brexit, rescind Article 50, and then you can go and we can all get on with our lives. My first concert was Elvis Costello in Edinburgh. Can't remember. The one near the St. James's Centre, or what's left of it, would be the Playhouse Theatre Murray, I would think, uh, near the St. James's Centre. Uh, Sandy Howden for Scottish Labour leader. Says Alfred James Wright. There you go, Sandy. There's something you could be doing. So uh, you could go from being famous into obscurity by becoming the next Labour leader of uh, Scottish Labour. Um, you're famous at the moment on the Scotty McClure show, and I'm sure you could manage to wander into the wilderness and join them there. Scotty, have you ever thought of a Bitcoin investment? 1900 in June, now 4000 <coughs> 200. So there we are. Sounds good stuff. Alex Ferguson used to present the Late Late Show in America. Glasgow Born and Bred as well as Doctor Who. Peter Capaldi. Fantastic stuff. Paisley City of Culture 2021 says Neil O'Gormley. Uh, do you think we'll get it? Fingers crossed Neil. I hope. I've had huge huge connections with Paisley. In fact they should really be talking to me about this. Because remember I was on uh, the Paisley radio station, Q96. That was the big one when McClure was on there. Um, who would you put in government, says Kieran Fox. Uh, Miss Sturgeon. I would ask Miss Sturgeon to take over number 10. So there we are. Uh, whiskey is a bourbon made in the USA, says Jerry. Excellent, Jerry. Bourbon whiskey. But you also have Irish whiskey. So you haven't got it all your own way there. Uh, if Scotland were independent, would the country take part in Eurovision? That's the big question, Scotty. Well, of course, we've had um, wonderful representation from Scotland before. Kenneth McKellar sang in the Eurovision contest. One of the finest voices ever to have existed. Kenneth McKellar. The other two great ones, the two ladies, Kathleen Ferrier and Norma Proctor. You can barely tell the two of them apart sadly both gone now norma passed away just uh, a few uh, a few months ago and uh, kathleen of course died in 1952 at the age of 40. there we are scotty there's a thomas carlyle signed in with the borders my missus says who's that so i tell her he's a famous serial killer and then she asked me why has it got a sign of course thomas carlyle carlyle's house at echo fechen thomas carlyle the famous writer um, McCallan, 10 years, says Ian. Yes, thanks for the advert, Ian. I'm sure McCallans will be delighted. I hope Paisley gets City of Culture, but is Paisley officially a city? Well, it is now, Tony, as far as I understand. It has city status, is that right? Chick Murray from Greenock, awesome dry whip, that's right. Chick was in uh, Bank Street in Greenock. Chick and Mady, fantastic. A huge Chick Murray fan, I really am. Tremendous stuff. So they are walking down the road. Um, today's rain is tomorrow's whiskey, says Ian. Yes. Numpty heed to replace Ruth when she moves to number two. <laughs> Don't hold your breath, do you know? Uh, the mucking of Geordie's buyer by Andy Stewart. Oh, a second I thought I was already in. Uh, Law, well averted. Is, is Lanark green or blue? Be very careful how you answer. Uh, I don't need to be careful how I answer. It's my show. Uh, Scotty McClure for Prime Minister. Let's wreck the joint, says Rab Hill. Fantastic stuff. I was thinking about becoming a politician. What do you think? Uh, what would your ideas be? LWS Scotty. Uh, check out Chris Kyle Scotty, one of the few Scottish BMX riders to make the X Games in the States. Scotland has talent. Of course it does. I found the secret of teleportation years ago. A full bottle of Highland Reserve woke up in the police cells in Liverpool. There we go. Yes, you go on a whiskey diet, you can lose up to three days. Now then, uh, we're time for time. More, shaving, uh, more sharing and sharing. Tony Max says, Paisley Abbey is beautiful. I remember graduating my, with my HNC in radio there. Paisley Abbey, it was my family 
that gave the monks the land for Paisley Abbey. So there you are. Scotty McClue is royal. Ah, oh. Lorna, uh, what would be in your manifesto, Scotty? So there we are. To be kind to others and uh, to be curatorial, not to be grabbing and greedy and grasping. Brilliant, mate, if you're a politician. I'm moving to where you are, says Alex Ritchie. Dinky do, Alex. Excellent stuff. Uh, Neil says, I remember you on Q96. A great show. I used to drive past it most nights on my way home when you were on. Lest we forget, Scotty, wear the poppy with pride, says Robert Devlin. Absolutely, Robert. Scotty, eight minutes left. We ain't happy. We want more, says Kerry. It's been a fantastic show tonight. Now, what's the view on the nine o'clock start, guys? Are we all up for that? Uh, should the burqa be banned for driving? So there we are. Well, um, no, I think we have to be very careful. Perhaps you shouldn't be banning the burqa, but perhaps you could say you can't drive wearing the burqa uh, on uh, safety grounds. So there we are. That might be um, a better way to put it, but I don't think we should be banning the burqa. That's people's faith and people's religion. And religion has never, ever, 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 ever caused a problem. All right. The only thing that would cause a problem is a lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding of religion. So there we are. 9 p.m. spot on. And um, oh God, Scotty, we want 9 to 11. Scotty, if you knew you're one of them gentry, the pitch fought for you. So there you are. Oh, you'll get sent to the town of London. The ravens for you. Uh, now, yes, nine start is good, Scotty. Nearly lights out. 9 p.m.'s Dinky Do, says Ray Nine Eve. Ray Nine Eve, absolutely, yes. Why not, I say. 9 p.m., great, I reckon. What do you think? Amen, Scotty. That's from an atheist. Okay, Murray, there you are. I remember a guy actually turning around and saying to me when I was talking about religion, he went, I'm an atheist, for God's sake. So there we are. Uh, religion is the cause of all war, not at all, Kieran. Never has been, never will be. A lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding. So there we are. And um, remember, we are all from the one place and there is only one great God. You can put whatever label on that God that you want to. But there we are, but you cannot change his word. Uh, 9 till 11 sounds good, says Andrew Mackay. So there we are. No, I think one hour is plenty for everyone, actually. Uh, ban women from driving. Wear a, wearing a burqa or a bikini, says Alfred James Wright. Well, of course, if you're wearing a, um, a bikini, you could actually cause an accident. Um, Scotty, are you into fishing or are you into cars? So there we are. Well, I'm not. I come from a, a long line of fishing families, but um, I'm into cars. All right. Um, nine's fine. Give you more time to drink your wine. So there you are. As you know, in McClue is teetotal. Uh, the Crusades, Scotty. Yes, the Crusades, absolutely. That's a wee while ago, Kieran. Were you involved in them at all? Would you like to publish your Crusades memoirs of you with your coat of mail and your big shield with the George and the Dragon drawn on it? Uh, ban the squeeze box, says Ian. <laughs> Man has always caused wars, not religion, says Tony Mac. Quite right, Tony. Uh, first time I've tuned in, very entertaining television says Ian Johnston. Ian Johnston, there is nothing on television or radio to touch the Scotty McClue show. If I can get my phones back, I'm busy negotiating with radio stations at the moment, and if I can get the phones back. But I'd also like this show to go on. How do you fancy exactly what we're doing here, but with the phones, live on television for half an hour every night? So there we are. Say, I don't know, 11 till half past, something like that, just after the political programmes, and we get the People's Programme with Scotty McClue. What kind of cars do you like, Scotty? Me and my man love uh, the Nissan Skyline R34. Fast and furious. So there you are. I have two cars, Kerry. One is 19 years old, and the other is 25 years old. All right. And uh, so that's that. So two CVs, the Dechevaux, the Citroen Dechevaux, 
love them. I had an Amy 8, which was the big brother or big sister of the Dish of O. And uh, it was a tremendous car, tremendous car. And at that time, I used to drive for a living. And my boss said, when you're driving the company truck, he said, I've never seen such a fine driver. When you're in your own car, you like death on wheels. So there you go. Because <laughs> uh, these French cars were tremendous. Uh, old school cars are the best, Scotty. Absolutely. So there you are. So one car. I know I shouldn't be a two-car family. But one is 19. The other is 25. Uh, excellent stuff. And uh, yes, I know the Amy 8 is Kieran. Wonderful, wonderful car. Great little car. And um, phones with Scotty. Sounds grand. Uh, you must have a Volvo has gone ready. Yes, we've had these as well. That was family cars. The 144 we started off with. We, we missed the 122. But uh, one of my teachers had a 122. 122 Saloon. I think there was an estate as well. Can't quite remember what that was called. Was that a 123? Uh, so there you are. But uh, excellent stuff. Um, hope you're well, buddy, says Alan Mike. Dinky do, Alan. Yes, indeed. Will there be crisps in future? Salt and vinegar for me, please. You could probably mix Skype into this. Uh, we did mix Skype into Murray, but we had a wee swearer. And uh, we didn't have the delay on, so no point. You know, I mean, I don't want to put my name to, uh, you know, some silly little idiot swearing and that sort of stuff all in front of the rest of you, you know. Uh, format, run this audio into mix. Land Rover. Yes, indeed. And uh, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Uh, 240G, says uh, Gordon Riley. My favourites were the Mini Cooper and the MGB GT. Excellent stuff. Yeah, that's right, with the 18, 1800 engine originally. And then they put the V8, they put that wonderful Buick engine in. The V8. Superb. Uh, got a VW Polo that's 14 years old. Great cars. All the Volkswagens, wonderful. German engineering. Uh, he's got a Land Rover and stables. Blue blood from the Rift Valley, says Ian Walker. Absolutely, Ian. Uh, both W Reg, says uh, Kieran Fox. Uh, absolutely, yes, yes. So there you go. Uh, no, um, one's J. So they can't be both W Reg. No, one was a one was a J Reg or Jai, I think you would say, Kieran Jai, uh, and the other a W, of course. So there we are. Fantastic. Well worked out. Right. We're out of time, folks. I can't believe it. What a wonderful, wonderful show tonight. Remember, the show is in two parts. So don't neglect part one. Get yourselves on there big time and look after part one. And uh, I'm glad you like the nine o'clock. We'll do it all again next week at the same time. Right? Very, very important. Remember to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Nine o'clock live on Facebook Live. One of the world's great broadcast platforms. Nine o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. Sunday nights will never be the same again. Television and radio can go off at nine o'clock unless Scotty McClue is on it. Right? Scotty McClue is now mainstream media. All right, guys. There we are. Private plates is Gordon Riley. Well, there you go, Gordon. Uh, Peugeot 106, W Edge, excellent. Good night, Lord. Dinky do. Good night, Scotty from Dublin, says Gordon Ritchie. Good night, Scotty. Great show as always, says Charles McLaughlin. Uh, 10 o'clock show up next, says Gordon Riley. I wish it was Gordon. Fantastic stuff. Um, remember, Scotty McClure, of course, gets his uh, earnings by derision or applause on his merits. So if you want to pop something into PayPal or something into GoFundMe, go to GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or uh, PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue or what word. You'll get it on the Scotty McClue website, www.scotty hyphen McClue.com. You'll see the two logos. Click on the logo. Stick in a couple of pounds. Keep the shows floating on. I say see you next week. Dinky do. God willing, weather permitting, Ben for Sackley. Uh, stick your tongue out and say ta ta. Night Scotty says Susan Forrest. Dinky do, Susan. Lots of love to you. Scotty McClue starts early now. Thanks, Scotty. Dinky do. Good night. How many want a two hour show? Away you go, the lot of you. Get to your beds. There we are. Sure, Alba. Uh, night night, Scotty says Kieran. Night night, guys. All the very best. I'll sing you the song. <clears throat>
Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Wittarzin, au revoir, and a cheery oh. Have a gorgeous week, guys. Take care of yourselves. Spread the word. And this is Scotty McClue saying to all of you, Dinky-Doo, Scotty McClue has left the building.